Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. We're going to be doing factoring using the Berry method, and the theme today is Surfer Dude. <laughs> 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 Epic math, bro! <laughs> uh, uh, let's hit the waves! <laughs> I should put bubbles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I can surf, dude. <laughs> no, not the shark. <laughs> Guys, everyone just stuck around there. You know what a hang 10 is? Yeah. What's a hang 10? It's when you it's when go on the... Like, toes are on the end. The oh, 10 toes are at the end yeah. of the board, yeah. That's cool. Is that what you're doing now? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if, like, the school... Little, the kids below us. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Ready? Who Raise your hand if you think you know how to factor well. And I'll do a survey. No hands. <laughs> One person thinks two. Okay. No, I'm not sure. Fine, fine, fine. That's cool. That's cool. Let's do this method here. It's actually a pretty interesting method. It's called the Berry method. All right. So please write the following down. Start with a tree. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna learn how to factor this. Here's how it goes. First thing. You start with this action, and because you see 3x squared here, you actually go 3x, 3x. Now, why is this wrong right away? Why is this incorrect? Yeah, say it loud. It's 9x. 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 Squared. Square. Good. So this will not be the answer, but this starts us off. It's a good way to start. Uh, I remember some people in the class yesterday said that they like, uh, they're like more process oriented. So this is the process. You start with the same number, the same one, okay? And then you multiply these two. All right, multiply these. And what do we get when three times 28? 84. 84, good. So then we have two numbers that multiply to 84 and add two, middle number, 20. negative 20. Ooh. This is what I was trying to do yesterday. I know, yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm bringing it back. Okay. Is this right. the berry method? This is called the berry method, yeah. What kind of berry? <laughs> <laughs> Strong. I like raspberry. The berry man. Ooh. I know how to factor, I know how to factor, and it's really easy, raspberry. <laughs> So, <laughs> put the two numbers. What are two numbers that multiply to uh, 84 two and, and add to negative 20? First of all, what kind of numbers must they be? Positive, negative, one negative, one positive, both, neither, what? One negative. One negative. What kind of numbers both multiply both to both positive negative. and add both to negative. negative? Both negative. All right, so we can also imply that we already know. That only two numbers that are both negative multiply to a positive and add to a negative. What are they? What two numbers multiply to a positive 84 and add to negative 20? I actually don't know right away. I'm gonna have to think about it myself. Maybe you can help. Um, six times something. Six times something. What's 84 divided by 14. 6? 14. 6 times 14. 14. 6 times 14? Mm -hmm. Negative 6. Right. Yeah. Negative 6, negative 14. Okay. Get it? Yep. Mm -hmm. We found the numbers that multiply to 84 and add to negative 20. And we can even write them down here for our purposes. Negative 6, negative 14. And they work. So then we put them in. I know the next step. Sorry? I know the next step. You know the next step? Okay, so negative 6, negative 14, and now can you explain how the next step operates? Um, you divide one of them by 3, the coefficient. Right, why? Um, because you already found the numbers that you needed, and yeah. now you just have to get rid of one of right, the 3s. Right. If you look at this closely, it can be reduced. Oh, yeah. so it would be 9x squared, so we're not done. But however, you all you need to do is what she's trying to say is you observe this, and you say, can any of these pieces be factored further? Yes. Yeah. Meaning, are there greatest yeah. common factor? There is a greatest common factor here. You said what was the number? Three. 
Three. Yeah, something to add? Why is it um, 84? Because that's the product of 3 and 28. That's part of the process. Okay. You, the number that we get that to multiply to is the A times C, if you will. First times last. Okay? And so we factor this component out because it can be. Yes? Don't we just reduce? Yeah, reduce it. Factor it out and then uh, squash it. Throw it in the trash. So, if you factor 3 out of here, what will this component be? X minus, X minus, X minus, X minus oh, two. 2. Oh, so you divide the whole thing by 3? Then you factor this out. So basically what I like to do, you want to see it? So 3 was factored out. There. Exquisite eraser, stand by. Stand by. Ecstatic or whatever I you want to call it. I thought it just becomes so. X minus 2. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will. I'm just saying, that's where the three went, and now, go, go, uh, go, 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 and this is the answer, okay, it's the answer, now, ask, you guys, ask for the class, ask for the class, it's right there, question, why do you, um, what do you do to get the x minus two, like, I know you divided by three, factor out three, do you know what, remember the term greatest common factor? Yeah. What number goes into 3x and negative 6? Three. The answer is 3. So, so you just factor the first yeah. yeah, you factor whatever can be factored. Yes, ma'am. How is um, that finished then? This is back, this that's is not factored. This is the factored form oh. of 3x squared minus 20x plus 20. We have to put it equals to zero. No, I'm just going into factoring today. But since you mentioned it, thank you, because it will be a skill necessary. Had it said equal zero, you guys know what to do next? Yes. What do you do? Uh, x minus 2 equals to zero. Set this to zero. And then set that to zero. Set that to zero. And solve, so it'll be two answers. Yes. Okay, two more. Two more. Okay. Rise, ecstatic eraser. Everyone give her a hand. Yay. Or him. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> yes, no. we have you up there to speak. Can you go any slower? <laughs> she, she tried. Dude, I'm gonna fast forward you. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, just that. That's that, and just this. Good job. And no, click. Good job. Okay, back up. Oh. I just sell good luck upon you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that sound. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, write the next one down. This one should go a little easier because now we know the process. So I'm going to use your help. Hopefully the goal will be I won't necessarily teach this one, and you guys can teach me that you've learned it. Teach me. Teach. Okay, step one. Yes, ma'am.